Hey everyone, today we're going to check out Opacity 2 from Audio Modern. I know we had the original Opacity, we had a big showcase for it uh, a while back, last year I believe. Um, it was very, very popular, so it's a great sounding library. So now they are back with Opacity 2, and this runs in the Contact Player, so you have a nice library uh, tab over here. You don't need the full version of Contact. So. Let's go in and check this out. It's fairly similar to Opacity 1, of course, but with all new sounds, and it sounds great. So the instrument is laid out just like this. If you notice, we have blue keys, purple keys, green keys, and yellow. Now, there's these four different parts to these performances. It is a phrase-based library. So we have chords, phrases, sequences, and swells. So you can put them all together just by holding the keys in these different ranges. So I'm going to play a little bit of it, just holding down, you know, different chords, different phrases, sequences, swells. They all go together so nicely where you can use them on their own. Let's check out uh, the sounds for this first uh, session, which is a preset. Let's check it out. All right, so you hear there how you can kind of string together these chords and the different layers of the instrument. It sounds really, really beautiful. Now, that was fairly simple. What I did with it was just, you know, establishing a basic chord progression. And then it's really easy to add the uh, additional layers because they're all, you know, in the same key and everything. All I did was copied and pasted um, an octave up. And then it brought in those next... Um, layers here. So I started with the chords, copied and pasted the exact same MIDI data an octave up and it brought in the phrases which you know correlated perfectly with the chords. And then I used different sequences. Um, the sequences are longer so you can kind of hold down one sequence or one key and you know 
let that linger throughout multiple chord changes. Um, so there's a lot of flexibility there, even though it is a phrase-based library. And then finally, the last um, section there was just using the swells and the sequences. The swells on their own are absolutely beautiful, and you can add them to a lot of different genres. So that was just this first session here, which um, was recorded at 77 BPM. I had it in 120, so this uh, you know will sync to your DAW's tempo no matter what. So let's check out a couple of the other sessions now. Now you notice how uh, there's quite a long release on those sequences that can be changed. Um, it, the, you know the attack and the release, everything can be changed. So if you notice when they're transitioning, um, for, you know from the short sequence to the next one, and the the previous one kind of lingers for a bit, that is all totally you know customizable. The attack and the release and everything. So just something to keep in mind. Here is just pretty raw MIDI data.
So this is a very simple instrument to use and you get some really beautiful results. You know, you get the human performance um, recorded, you know, by the players playing these specific uh, sequences and phrases and stuff. But you have a, a nice variety here mapped across the key. So it's very easy to string them together like I've been showing you. Just very basic MIDI data and you get some beautiful results. So as you're switching through the sessions, uh, just keep in mind, you know, the BPM, which it was recorded at. So if this one is 100, it might not sound good at 120, but we just tried it. It sounded great. And then the um, key, which it was written in. So this is D major. So just something to keep in mind. Uh, so you will find something that will fit within your song, or you can use it as a basis to, uh, you know, just lay a foundation and write additional instruments over top of it. Um, so this would be very good for rock, you know, ambient, commercial music. Uh, but also cinematic, you know, a lot of um, a lot of genres could really benefit from this EDM even. So thanks for checking this one out with me. A great instrument, Opacity 2, runs in the free contact player, so you don't need full contact for this one. Uh, sequel to Opacity 1, which was a big hit. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time.